Buyers and activists in Kogi State have raised concerns over the Social Democratic Party and its governorship candidate filing a petition against the November 11 election outcome through a backdoor and backdate to circumvent the provisions of the Electoral Act. The United Front for Democracy, led by Barrister Yetunde Olubumi Shaibu, claimed that the SDP candidate had not filed his petition against the All Progressive Congress winner, Usman Ododo, 22 days after the election's declaration. They alleged that the SDP and its candidate were still preparing their petition to appear to be filed within the legal stipulated duration. The wisdom of the Electoral Act is that anyone with credible evidence should be able to put such forward within the legally stipulated period. We are however disappointed that the SDP is about to lose the opportunity to test the law with a competent petition. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the African Democratic Congress, ADC, opted to avoid the embarrassment of <laughs> searching in futility for evidence by deciding not to challenge the um, election at the tribunal. However, in as much as we would like to leave the determination of the validity of the petition filed at the time of the Honorable um, Election Petition Tribunal, we want to leave that determination to the Election Pet Petition Tribunal, we owe the populace a social and legal responsibility to expose a clandestine move by the SDP and its candidates to file their petition through the back door and backdate same to circumvent the provision of the Electoral Act. We are not going to allow that. Our very credible source revealed that the SDP and its candidates are still preparing their petition at the time of this press conference and with the intention of filing the same within the week and have it backdated so as to make it look as if it was filed within the legally stipulated time. This must not be allowed to happen in this spirit of justice, equity, and fair. Anakogi State All Progressive Congress APC Governorship Campaign Council has lambasted the Social Democratic Party SDP and its governorship candidate over a concocted rigging video released to divert the attention of the public away from the conversation around their not being able to file a petition against the outcome of the November 11 election within the stipulated time frame. The Director of Media and Publicity spokesperson for the Council, Kingsley Fanwell, who said this in a statement on Monday, asked the public to disregard the senseless concoction, noting that the SDP and its thugs put up an autocratic gangsterism against democracy in Kogi East during the election, apart from the blood that was allegedly spilled in the build-up to the poll. According to him, the release of the concocted video on the day the SDP is battling with the determination of the people to make them do the right thing is a roadside strategy to divert the people's attention from the heavy cloud of controversy on their inability to file their petition within the constitutionally approved period. Fan will also blame the security agencies, particularly the Department of State Services and the police for the lawlessness being allegedly displayed by the SDP, saying the state director of the DSS and the commissioner of police in charge of Kogi State's command seem to have licensed the violence and illegality of the SDP. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.